Well, hello, Sanford, and welcome to Beck's Bench. Today marks the start of Black History Month, a time to honor the achievements of African Americans. While our goal at Sanford is to celebrate diversity every day, February is an important opportunity to celebrate the significant impact of black people and culture in our history. I'm particularly grateful for the work of our Office of Diversity and Intercultural Initiatives, which works to advance efforts to engage our community in multicultural development while celebrating diversity and inclusion and promoting respect for others. Today's special guest brings us here to the Reconciliation Memorial, a beautiful obelisk that honors the contributions of the African Americans who built and sustained Sanford's mission, including a legendary hero and a groundbreaking scholar. And with me today is Dr. Denise Gregory, our Associate Provost for Student Success and Diversity and Inclusion. We'll talk about this special memorial as well as the many ways Black History Month will be celebrated and recognized across campus. Well, Dr. Gregory, welcome. We're so glad that you could join us today. Say a little bit more about how Sanford will celebrate Black History Month. Thank you for having me today. We are excited to celebrate Black History Month. Today is the first day, February 1st, and we're looking forward to a great uh, month of programming. Um, some of the opportunities that we have on campus are educational as well as fun events, so I'd like to share a few of them with you. Um, tonight, please join us for a drive-in movie theater experience. Uh, we're actually going to be watching uh, Respect, which is the biopic of, uh, of Aretha Franklin. So come out and join us tonight at 6 p.m. at the Leeds Drive-In Movie Theater. We also this week have a partnership with the Cumberland School of Law within the Black Law Student Association, and they will present their annual Third Grade Marshall series. Uh, this symposium has been going on for over almost 28 years. I, I believe it's about 28 years it's been going on. And so we want to celebrate that. And so we have some great, two great keynote speakers. They are brothers, our representative Chris England and his brother, um, Judge John England III, will be speaking there that night. We also have uh, opportunities that we want to share um, and highlight some of the work of some of our colleagues on campus and in particular Dr. Naya Pickett-Miller. She actually will be speaking in a Lunch and Learn uh, where she will talk about um, the professorate and in particular how professors are important in elevating black voices in their classroom. Um, we also have Dr. Uh, Hine Amamu who will share her experience of her home country of some of the work that she's doing in Ghana and in particular recognizing the importance of clean drinking water for everyone in, in, their, in her country. Um, we also have some fun events, another fun event that we're looking forward to and that's with our men's basketball team in athletics. We are partnering uh, to highlight um, on our February 9th game against Wofford College come to the game um, and uh, we will celebrate some of our black organizations on campus as well as some from our former student athletes and then have a small little step show in the middle of halftime with some of our Greek letter organizations. So we're excited about our Black History Month events. There are a wide variety there so if you want to learn more about them you can visit and learn more on our website and they're listed on our university calendar. Wow it sounds like a full month of activity that's that's amazing. We're excited. Well, we are here by this beautiful memorial. Talk to us a little bit about what this memorial represents and how we plan to dedicate it this month. Yes, this memorial honors African Americans and the work and the contributions that they made to Sanford University. And so the inscription there is, is some words that are really, really inspiring for you to read. And I ask you to you know, take the time to come by and read the, the monument and the inscriptions that are there. Um, but we want to make sure that we uh, celebrate and honor the work of, of African Americans and their contributions to Sanford. The actual memorial was erected in May of 2020. However, during the pandemic, we were not able to come out and celebrate it formally. So we want to do that. And so on February the 15th at 10 a.m., we invite you to come to the Wright Center to share in that celebration. Oh, that's wonderful. Now, in honor of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day, our Davis Library and our special collections displayed a very rare copy of Dr. King's letter from a Birmingham jail. Tell us how the public can uh, experience that letter and see that letter on their own. Yes, we are blessed to have two copies of the letter here on Sanford. And uh, we have used this letter with our students as well as we've been have requests from people all over the country that want to use the letter. But we recognize we should also just share with our Sanford communities um, as well. So we have it on display in the library. It's been up um, since January the, the 15th, Martin Luther King Day. And um, it will be up the entire month of February. So please, please go by, take a moment, look at it and read and view some of the writings that Dr. King has um, in the works there. 
Now, on a much broader sense, you provide important leadership to the Sanford community around uh, diversity and reconciliation on our campus. Say more about the work that you and colleagues are involved with here at Sanford. Yes, we know that we are all called as Christians to value the importance of others. And so we take that very seriously here at Sanford. And so some of the work that we're doing um, with the Office of Diversity and several collaborative partners across campus uh, is um, taking the work from the Task Force on Racial Justice and that is a re report we received last year and we're taking that and creating a diversity action plan and from that work we want to create metrics, uh, measurable places that we can actually measure the work that we're doing in diversity. So we're continuing that work on and looking forward to sharing that with the Sanford community sooner than later. Well, I know I speak for so many on our campus when I say thank you for your important leadership. Thank you for who you are and the way you're guiding us in this area. Thanks for joining us today for Beck's Bench. Thanks for having me. Thanks. And thank you for watching. Beck's Bench will return on March the 1st. So until then, I'm Beck Taylor saying God bless you, God bless Sanford, and go Bulldogs.